This video shows the characteristic dermatological findings of tuberous sclerosis in the form of hypomelanotic macular lesions seen on the back of these child which we call as ash leaf spots. These are seen on the back as well as we are able to appreciate here some patchy areas on the flank and the lower back just above the sacrum that are having characteristic orange peel skin which we call as shagreen patch. So these are the characteristic of the tuberous sclerosis and ash leaf spot can also be seen on the flank of this child. This child also had similar type of hyperpigmented hyper macular lesion on the front of the abdomen and lower chest. So there are multiple ash leaf spots seen in this child that fulfill the criteria of the tuberous sclerosis. Beside these, this child also had the acne-like facial lesion that are the NG5 roma we call as adenoma subatium. So these are again favoring the tuberous sclerosis. We also extended our workup in the form of MRI brain to look for any brain pathologies. The child had cortical tubers. The other findings that can be seen in these patients are subependymal giant cell astrocytoma as well as subependymal nodules. We also did ultrasound abdomen and it was normal. Early MRI brain should uh, abdomen should be done to look for any renal tumors like renal angiomyolipoma. Also, these children should be screened for the eye pathologies in the form of uh, retinal hematomas. Also, MRI and are the cross-sectional images of the chest can be obtained to look for the pulmonary pathologies, especially the lymphangioleomyomata lesions in the lungs. So these are the typical findings that are seen in these children with the tuberous sclerosis.